Welcome to Pennsylvania and my shop and all this lovely stuff. So, all right, here's where I am with the log splitter. I got the I got the engine and pump and tank and ram and little dinky set of wheels on there, but they work. And uh, I got it in pretty much what it's going to be is final form, assuming this pump works. Uh, and I'm doing lots of research on this, but I'm not coming up with many positive answers at all. So, until I can find an external uh, relief bypass valve, I'm not even sure if they're the same thing. I am just kind of putting it out of mind because right now I've just got too many irons in the fire and I'm spreading myself too thin. But uh, we got the generator. Just took it down today and had this little piece of pipe here made. I wanted it to come down through the bottom, but the exhaust guy was pretty damn busy. And uh, again, no charge for the pipe, and it looks a little odd. And I'm probably going to have to put a little down tube on there maybe, or maybe I just won't worry about it. Just uh, stick a can over there or something. But uh, it'll work fine. That's all I needed was a muffler. So now I can concentrate on getting my controls. This will be my either my glow plugs or my starter. This will be the fuel cutoff and the alternator exciter. This I'm hoping I can use this for the throttle because it has a lock on it. And here I got a spot for another button, which will either be the glow plug, glow plugs, or the starter. And hopefully this amp gauge works. But if not, I got one on my uh, <laughs> one on my rat rod tractor. And I think I got another one around here laying somewhere. Uh, plus I got two triple clusters. They don't have amps on them, but they do have volts, water temperature, and oil pressure, which those will get mounted. But right now, I got to figure out where to where to mount this uh, little panel right here. All right, found a nice little place to mount the control panel right in front of the radiator, and it should be safe because if it starts to roll, I'm going to have it chocked. And I got the trailer jack there, but if it starts to roll, hopefully the tongue will smack into something before this does and the radiator and the fuel filter focus. There we go. Uh, so now all I got to do is wire. And so far it's coming out pretty nice, and I think the gauge cluster will probably go over here. And uh, yeah, so far so good. All right, and here we are. Pretty well done. Got the which is wired up. Didn't use this amp meter. Uh, I do plan on putting one in there that lights up. So it might run at night. Right here is your fuel cutoff. This is the alternator exciter wire, and it also feeds the lights and the volt gauge. Lights for the gauges. Yeah. There's your starter. There's your plugs. So that's fired up. Fuel on, plugs for 10 seconds. And starter. That oil pressure will come down. Temperature will come up. Have the automatic fan wired up. That might change, it might not. I might just wire it up all the time. I don't know, because it's uh, stationary now. I've also seen other switches where you can just sort of stick them, stick this probe into the webbing of the radiator, and you can adjust it to come on whenever you want. So I might get one of those, I might not. Uh, 
Attention right now. Just got it sort of tied down. That's going to have to serve so I can uh, come up with a good spring tensioner. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty well done. On to different things now. Oh, and I got to get a so I can lay hands on the governor. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come up with a nice piece of cable or something, or a piece of metal, where I can pull up, hook it onto this arm right here and flip it into this knot. That way it'll hold it right at about 2,000 RPM. But uh, I do have a diesel tachometer, and I'm gonna run it on that. And this generator wants to go at 1,800. And this pulley's a little smaller, so about two grand will probably run this where it wants to be. So that's about it. Take care, guys. Okay. Oh, I didn't turn the exciter on before, but here's uh, what the gauge is starting to come to life.